Every day, millions of people use the internet to search for information and to connect with one another. Started on Stanford University's campus, Lynn Bozek and Sandy Lerner created a router that would eventually lead to the making of Cisco systems. While working in two different buildings on campus, Sandy and Lynn created their own router that would allow themselves to connect to one another. In this clip, they are explaining the how routers work. Of some fairly unsophisticated. I shut it off. Well, that was Very unexpected. That wasn't the Wellfleet Marketing Department bombing the Cisco premises. That was a genuine San Francisco earthquake. So how did they manage to create a router? It was do-it-yourself networking. If you wanted it, you had better do it yourself because no one else was going to do it for you. You couldn't buy it. Basically, so pulled wire through manholes. We pulled wire through disused sewer pipe. Um, we built a lot of things by ourselves. I mean, it was very, very much, a, at that point, a, a guerrilla action. We had no money, and we certainly didn't have any official sanction. So how does a router work, exactly? On the digital highway, packets are blasting this way and that, going from network to network on the way to their ultimate destinations. At every point where one network is linked to another, there's a box called a router. Think of a router as a traffic cop. Like the cop, a router does three things. It stops traffic, it starts traffic, and it gives directions. What can this technology be used for? Trees will talk to networks. We'll talk to scientists about climate change. Cars will talk to road sensors. We'll talk to stoplights about traffic efficiency. The ambulance will talk to patient records. We'll talk to doctors about saving lives. With all of these networks, we are now more connected than ever before.